In this video, uh, we're going to set up Git on our DigitalOcean LAMP stack. Um, this can happen on any LAMP stack. Uh, we're using Ubuntu 16, but uh, preferably, we're, I'm just for consistency, I'm showing you how to do it on the, uh, on the actual uh, DigitalOcean um, server we set up. I've included previous videos in the description. Please check them out. I've also uh, showed some other um, options for hosting. Uh, please check those out as well. Please also subscribe to the channel. So uh, for this, now we're going to add Git. It's pretty simple. We're going to be using GitHub, um, which is a is not the same thing as Git. They're two separate things. Um, Git, GitHub uses Git, um, and we're going to use. Um, a, I already created a temp repository. What you're going to have to do is go into new repository, and then you have to go through and create. Um, I I created a Git ignore to um, to not show my DS store file. As well, I created an index.html file. I'm just going to say hello world. I'm going to change that. Hello world. And commit changes. And I already have a deploy key from my Linode tutorial, but I'm going to delete that as well. So we're all set up now. Um, so this is what our current uh, DigitalOcean website looks like. We're going to jump back over here, and we're going to start creating a key. So this key, the idea is it essentially tells GitHub that um, it, it, is our, it is our server trying to access our uh, repository. And so what we're going to do is go to cd-t. And that one exists. So it has authorized keys. Um, and so now that we're doing this, we're going to generate a brand new one. So we're going to do ssh-keygen. And this is going to ask us a bunch of questions. And I'm just hitting enter and it's leaving these all blank. And type ls. And you have a couple things that were created. Um, write cat id dash rsa dot pub and hit enter and this is what we're looking for it's a uh, big long string that we're going to include in our in our github um, deploy keys so copy it go over to your repository go to settings go to deploy keys click add new deploy key so digital ocean let's say Paste it. I'm not going to give it write access, and I'm going to say add key. Okay, so now we should be able to access it, but now our next step is to actually clone the repo. So I jump back over to code here. I'm going to go over to um, here, clone the clone button, and use um, not HTTPS, but use SSH. So it should look like this. I'm going to copy that, jump back over to our terminal, our, S our SSH client, clear that and then jump to where our files exist. So as you can see, if I go cat index, this is what we're looking at right now on the website. So I'm going to back out a, a one folder structure. So this is what it's called. It's everything sitting inside this HTML folder. And so what we're going to do is actually just remove this folder completely. And so now that it doesn't exist, and if I go back to the website right now, it will probably not work because it can't find the file. Um, so what we're going to do is type in git clone and then paste that link that we just copied from github Hit enter Type yes And we should be able to download it. And so as you can see now we have a temp there That's the name of my repository and we're going to change that to be from temp to be HTML And now this is HTML I'm sorry about that uh, if we open up our website again and hit um, for me it's command it could be control shift r or command shift r um, it should re refresh the cache and as you can see it now says hello world um, so we successfully set up a git repo um, so if we change anything from here I'm, gonna use a, I'm just using github you can just actually type in your build your website in git um, and then save that now, so now it says uh, hello world from github and then you have to go here just type in git pull we're not in a git repo, you have to move into the HTML folder and then do git pull. It downloads the changes. And uh, just refresh the page and now it says hello from GitHub. Um, so in the next video, we're going to be setting up an actual domain, and then the video after that, we're going to set up an, a free SSL certificate. So please check those out as well. Thanks.